Okay, so for those of you who need to test uh, Ford oxygen sensors, you probably come across the stuff online where you can hook up a multimeter and check the DC voltage and everything, but no, nobody out there has one that I've seen of how to test a Ford four wire. As you can see, there, there's four wires on a Ford oxygen sensor. There's two white wires, which are actually the, the leads for the, the heater to heat, heat the element up. And there's a gray and a black wire. Now, when I first started to try and test these things, I assumed that the black wire was going to be the ground wire. It turns out that the gray wire is actually the ground wire, and the black wire is the, the, the sensor uh, for the sensor lead. So what I've got here is a multimeter hooked up, and I kind of had to rig it with tape so that it would stay on the lead so I could do this, you know, with one person. And I've got, this is an automatic uh, auto-adjusting multimeter here, and i got it set on DC voltage. And what should happen here is uh, we're going to heat it with propane to remove the oxygen from the sensor itself to test it. And once it's warmed up, it should read, uh, when it's when you take all the oxygen away with the propane, it should read ar around 0 0.9, 0 0.8 and a half volts. And then when you take it away, it should go down. Uh, it may go all the way down to zero. It should go down at least to 0 0.1. And that, that swing in voltage back and forth actually can test to see whether the sensor itself actually works. I've got three here out of this Ford Ranger. We're going to test all three of them. Uh, I may only show you how to do one on here, but I'm going to test all three of them to find out which one, if any of them are bad. But we're going to turn on the propane. And it's light out here, so you can't really see the flame. Well, <clears throat> when you put this in the flame, you don't hold it too long because it will get red hot. Um, if you get it too hot, it'll actually damage the sensor. So once it starts getting red hot, you want to pull it back. Let me see, uh, see once it gets warm. And here you go, it starts warming up. You got 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 6. You get all the way up to, you want to get it too hot. Alright, so here I got a different um, kind of just holding up holding the pins in there with an adapter and you can see uh, this is the last one by the way. I've already tested the other ones and these take a little bit longer to react because these are before the catalytic converter so they deal with hotter exhaust temperatures. But uh, as I put it into flame you'll notice that, that it goes up to it may jump around a little bit, but uh, maybe it's 0 0.4. 5, 6, 7, we'll get all the way up to 8, I'm just going to make sure it's in the flame, there it is, 0.87 I saw, which is uh, 0.85 is, is good, but so all three of these oxygen sensors work, um, or at least they, <coughs> the sensor in them. Uh, swings back and forth whether it detects oxygen or not. So that's how you test a four-prong oxygen sensor. And what I've done here, if you look down inside, can't really see. You see where the four wires go into the connector, but what I've taken is two like wire splice pieces here and, and uh, kind of trimmed one end of the plastic so that it fit down in. And then I take the leads off the multimeter and stick down inside there so that you can get a good connection. Um, the tape didn't work too good, so that was that was what I did to to test these things. So that's how you test a a, a four wire oxygen sensor. Uh, if it's different than a Ford, where you got other wires, I know there's three wires, and then there's four wire ones in other vehicles. You might have to look up to see which ones are. But in this case, yeah, the Ford is uh, gray is actually the ground, and black is the uh, sensor lead.